this axle, and today we're going to be seeing if there is a difference between these common trailer brakes. The first test we're going to do is measure the thickness of each one of these brake pads on the brake to see if there's a difference. Starting with the trailer brake closest to me, we're going to take a measurement and see what it comes out as. All right, we're getting 0 0.213 inches. And now moving on to the middle brake, we're going to see what it comes out as. We're getting a reading of 0 0.194 inches. And now lastly, the third brake. Measurement of 0 0.186 inches. There's only a 0 0.027 inches of difference between the thickest and the thinnest. We have a brake controller wired to a battery running to each one of these trailer brakes with the same voltage and we're going to test out to see if the magnets are different. Alright, so I'm going to squeeze this brake controller all the way closed here and hook it up to brake one and see what we get. One point nine pounds. Now moving on to brake two. One point nine pounds. Now we're going to be moving on to brake three. We had one point nine pounds as well. After testing each one of the magnets on these three brakes, we found out that they were all able to withstand 1.9 pounds before our scale became disconnected. Now, test number three. As you can see, we've put hugs on all the brakes, and now we're going to take this torque wrench and see just how much foot-pounds we can put on each one before they start moving. All right, here we go. Brake number one. Have the torque wrench set at 25 foot pounds. Alright, it's just starting to move at 25 foot pounds. Moving on to brake number two. Still set at 25 foot pounds. Alright, I'm able to move it at 25 foot pounds. And last but not least, brake number three. Alright, I have 25 foot pounds and it is not moving. Now the brake one and two are out of the picture, at maxing out at 25 foot pounds. We're moving on to brake three and we've bumped it up to 30 foot pounds. All right, it is just starting to move at 30 foot-pounds. All right, so after doing all of our tests, we found that even though there is a large price range difference in these three brakes, the end result was very similar. The first thing we did was check the thickness of the brake pads. There was only a 0 0.027 inches of difference between the thickest and the thinnest. And then we moved on to the strength of the magnet, and they were all maxed out at 1.9 pounds we were able to pull against the magnet before it broke loose. And then the last thing we did was we checked the torque of each one of the hubs mounted on the brakes. And the first two maxed out at 25 foot pounds. The last one we were able to go up to 30 foot pounds before it would spin. Thanks for watching this video. Please tune in for more videos from Blue Swift Axles. Thank you.